Twin wheels are great fun at a fair. Great fun at any time, actually, because they're easy to make and they work very well. But there are wind wheels of different kinds as well. And this is one of them. Even more fun because it trundles along the ground at great speed, even in very light winds. And it's self-stabilizing, which means if it falls over, it stands up again. It's very easily made, and this is how you do it. Get a bit of uh, light cardboard. I've found old cardboard folders are very good for this. And you probably need to start with a, a piece about that size, about the, the size of your hand or so. And I've, uh, it doesn't really matter what size you make, but I've worked out one that's about six centimetres across, so open your compasses a distance of three centimetres and draw one circle. OK? Just like that. That's a good size. You can see how big it is in comparison to my fingers. Close the compasses a bit. It doesn't really matter much, but I would say about a centimetre or so. And do another circle. So you've got one circle inside the other. Like that. Now you need a ruler and a pencil. And what you have to do is to start dividing that inner circle into parts. First of all into halves, then into quarters. And get this as accurate as you can, but it's fairly forgiving. If you don't get it exactly right, it'll still trundle along as long as all those lines go through the center. That's into quarters. Now into eighths. And finally, divide the eighths into so that you've actually got sixteenths. Across each one, like that. Here we go. That. Transparent rule is good because you can see where the lines are and you make less of a, a mess of it than if you're using a, a wooden ruler. And the last line, like that. And you can see that mine isn't exactly accurate, but in fact the inaccuracies are balanced as long as all those lines go through the centre. Put it down and get yourself a safety knife like this. You can use scissors on it, but it chews up the cardboard a bit, so this is better. Look after your fingers, but just put your ruler there and cut along each of those lines that you've drawn through the centre and to the circle on the other side. Work your way all the way around. You'll find after a while that you start to gather up the bits of cardboard at the sharp points, and you might have to start cutting all of them into the centre and stopping there, and just working your way around the circle in that sort of fashion. But ultimately, you'll have them all cut, and I, to save time, I've got one over here, and this is what it's going to look like. All of them cut and parted like that. Okay? Then you can see the circle on the other side, the way I've based it. Cut around the outside, the bigger circle that is, and keep this pretty accurate, because it's got to be round enough to roll, and if you start having flat bits, it's going to hop and fall over. That, I think, will do the job. And then you've got a bit of folding to do. And you fold every second one up and every second one down. So here we go. We fold this one down there. And it folds, of course, at the inner circle. Miss one. Fold the next one down. Miss one. Fold the next one down. And so forth. So that all, every second one is pointing down. Then all the ones you've missed, pull them up. So every second one is going up, and every second one is going down. And the finished article will look like that if you do it properly. OK? And it's very good. Even the faintest breeze will get it going. This is an indoor fan. I'm only going to put it under medium, and I'm going to get quite a long way away from it. But even so, it will be enough to drive this thing all the way down the passage. Great fun indoors, but even more fun out of doors. I'm